blah, blah, blah. Have all, have mom, have, have Leo, have well, I don't know how to say his name. My parents are home. Hi, I'm filming. You what? I'm filming. I know. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with a review video for The Seafarer's Kiss by Julia Ember. I was actually sent a copy of this by the author in exchange for my honest review. So without further ado, let us get started! I ended up giving this book a 3.5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I think that I would have given it a 4 out of 5 stars, but I had one main issue with it which made me bump down half a star, so we're going with 3.5. This book follows 19 year old Ursul, who is a mermaid, who falls in love with a warrior named Ragna. In order to be with Ragna, Ursul makes a deal with the trickster god Loki. This deal ends up backfiring on Ursul and things don't go as she had hoped. This book is a very loose retelling of The Little Mermaid and it also has a lot of Norse mythology mixed in with it and I really loved that because I love fairy tale retelling and I've always been interested in mythology. I took a mythology course in university and I absolutely loved it. It was one of my highest marks. So I'm always into books that incorporate mythology and this one did a great job of it. I really liked how the book wasn't predictable even though it is a retelling of The Little Mermaid. A lot of aspects were the same, but a lot were very different. It follows more of the Hans Andersen. Is that, I think that's the author of The Little Mermaid. But it follows more of his original tale rather than the Disney version, which I like personally better because like mermaids who are feisty is my thing. I don't really deal with the whole Disney version of mermaids. I like the evil kind. Not that Ursula was evil, but still. I've also read a lot of other reviews from other members of the community and they say that this is a great representation of own voices by representation and fat representation. So keep that in mind if you're thinking about picking this up. There's also a character who is gender fluid who uses the them they pronouns which I think is great and it is an awesome addition to this book. The book is very action-packed and fast-paced. I thought the writing style was really well done. I loved the world building and I thought that Julia Ember did a great job in describing the like ice world that the mermaids lived in. It was very easy to picture what was going on in the story. I really hated the whole concept of the grading in the mermaid society which was basically once you turned a certain age if you were a mermaid, you would go and see this mage and she would determine whether or not you were fertile. And if you weren't fertile, you basically weren't valuable in the society and you were deemed damaged. And that was kind of unsettling for me. I think that it would definitely be like a trigger warning for some people if they're dealing with infertility. Some of the wording and the things that were discussed in the book might not settle well with you, so just keep that in mind as well going into it. But I do think that Julia Ember did a great job with Ursul as her main character because she didn't want to be a mother and she was fighting for what she wanted, her own freedom and things like that. And I think that the message of even if you don't want to be a mother and even if you're not fertile, that doesn't make you damaged, you're still a great individual, was really well done in this book. I also just really liked Ursula as a main character. I thought she was so feisty and I just loved everything about her. I also really liked Ragna. I thought she was super cool. I wish that there was more of Ragna in the story instead of just when she showed up because it kind of felt like she was thrown in there as like a plot. Thing. I didn't really feel like I got to know her as a character. It was more just like, this character needs a love interest right now. Like, I wish that we had more of a backstory on her or something like that, but I thought that the concept of her tattoos was like so cool and like I would totally love to have tattoos like hers. I wish that there was a little bit more of a backstory with Havamal and Eerie and what actually happened to make her say that he betrayed her so much because we never really got like a full picture of what actually happened. Other than like he joined the King's Guard, but like, Okay, cool, like, why are you so bitter about that? Deal with it. So, I wish there was more of a backstory about that, but I did like him as a character most of the time. Except one major issue, which I can't give away because, like, spoilers, but he was, he was decent. He was a decent guy. He, uh, he made up for what he did, so it's okay. So, as I mentioned before, I had one major issue with the book, which made me drop it down half a star. There was one scene in the book where the two characters who were meant to be in love ended up punching each other in the face to the point where they're drawing blood from each other 
And it just kind of unsettled me a little bit because there was no, like, consequence for their actions. It was just kind of like, well, we're, we're both angry, so, you know, punching each other in the face is okay, you know? And personally, I feel like that's probably not a good course of action when you're angry with somebody. So it just kind of unsettled me because there was nothing that really said that this is not the ideal relationship and that shouldn't happen in a relationship. So I feel that some readers might, one, find that, like, okay in a relationship, which, you know, it is not. And two, it just, I don't like it. I just, it bothered me a lot, so... If that scene wasn't in the book, I would have given it a 4 out of 5 stars. Overall, I really enjoyed the book. I thought it was a great female-female romance book. I loved the bi representation. Other reviewers have said that it is a good representation, so I'm going based off of their opinion. I really enjoyed it. 3.5 out of 5 stars. I recommend it. You should all read it. Alright guys, so that was my review for The Seafarer's Kiss by Julia Ember. Let me know down below if you've read the book and what you thought of it. And I want to say thank you again to Julia Ember for sending me a copy of her book for a review. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!